Hélène Schaffbeck's paintings are both knowable and unknowable. Her subjects are fashionable, the women androgynous and yet highly made up, the men dandies. But how much of that is their identity, and how much are we seeing through the lens of Schaffbeck, who relish transforming local factory girls into fashionistas? She was living in rural Finland and then coastal Finland, so she wasn't in a big city. Um, so she would use local women and children often as models, and then she would um, bring together this wonderful synthesis of influences. She um, knew old master paintings very closely, and also she was very interested in contemporary fashion, and she subscribed to fashion journals and actually ordered items of clothing from Paris. So she brought together all these influences and the result of the wonderful portraits that we have today. Schaffbeck, who was born in 1862, won a scholarship to the Finnish Drawing School at just 11. She was a prodigious talent, but her life was marred by ill health. Not much else is known about her life. She was engaged but never married, and her fiancé remains a mystery. So she clearly had a very strong idea of how she wanted to be perceived. She often asked people to destroy letters. Um, so she knew how she wanted people to perceive her. And I think that's a really interesting aspect of her work. Some people like to read her biography very strongly into her work, and clearly that is an aspect of it. But also you can come to her work really knowing very little about Scherfbeck the person and um, have an amazing response, especially to her self-portraits. Her portraits generally have a certain enigmatic quality a kind of privateness, despite their public form. Yet her self-portraits, 17 of which are on show at the RA, are unafraid to show her, flaws and all. Scherfbeck's paintings of herself really are a portrait of a life. She painted these between the ages of 22 and 83, upfront about her physical decay as she ages, from elegance and style to her later work, where she is frail, and even ghostly. So what you get in that amazing final series of portraits is a real interrogation of the psychological state of ageing as much as the physical state of ageing. They're not a reflection of her physical appearance. They're a reflection of her interior state. So you end up with the very last self-portrait drawing that she did, which where really it's a skull staring out of the canvas at you. Schaffbeck's last self-portraits are a composite of every moment that has gone before. They are scratched and faded and vibrant all at once, much like the texture of a life. Hélène Schaffbeck's work can be seen in London until October the 27th. Miranda Atty, TRT World, London.